Black History Month program, the Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia. This is our exhibit hall. And our tradition has been um, that each lodge, each chapter, and even the, the uh, concordant and appended bodies all bring a historical exhibit, a story about their organization, about their lodge, or about their chapter, and put it on display so that uh, the members themselves, as well as our visitors, get a chance to see a historical snapshot of what Prince Hall Masonry is, a historical snapshot of the work that the different lodges, uh, the different chapters of what the women are doing, and what the appendant and concordant bodies are doing. So it's, it's a, a great idea that, um, that each year grows more and more. I'm, I'm very proud of the sophistication of the younger brothers as they, who use computer technology a lot differently than those of us with you know, uh, snow-capped hair. Uh, but they are now putting their stories on, on tape or slideshow presentations using uh, uh, technology that wasn't around 20, 30 years ago. Would have a foundation. Uh, this program is very important to me because I'm standing in Baloo High School, in which I'm a proud alumni, class of 1978. And um, it's just always great to be able to come back home. Um, I want to first thank Baloo Senior High School for allowing us to have this program. As you know, I'm the Grand Worthy Matron of the George Ann and Thomas Grand Chapter. And I also have my youth with me that's going to be participants today. And it's important that we involve them in this so they can understand where the history of uh, black history uh, formulated. Uh, the textbooks does not tell them everything because you know, time after time the books are rewritten. So they can embrace the culture uh, and by us sharing this day with them, we think it's most important, not only for the Prince Hall Masonic family, but for Ward 8 and the community. So it's, it's certainly critical um, for the Masons to get ourselves out in the community and show our community um, how much we care about them, the programming that we provide on a free basis. We want to make sure that we do that for all of the community in Washington, D.C. This is where we live. This is where our Grand Lodge began. Uh, this is where our brothers uh, practice masonry. And so we certainly want to make sure that we provide some programming around the southeast area, which is the majority of where our people are. Um, so they can come out and see the history that we have, the great history that we Tell have. Tell me about the Princess Matron yes. and what's your job as a Princess Matron? Oh. Well, my job is to make sure that everybody is doing their position correctly and to make sure that everybody is happy and that's it. And what do you think about Black History Month? Is it important to know history for them to be in the school? Yes, it is important to know um, about your about black history, important to know other people who are the same as you, and yeah. It's just so important to us, and then more especially to our young folks, because uh, uh, it's my thought that we as, as, as African Americans need to promote to our children what we're all about, and we really are not doing enough to do that, because every other culture you look at always emphasize what happens with their, uh, their history, mm -hmm. and we cannot emphasize black history uh, and, and, you know, we just need to continually emphasize it. Uh, Rosa Parks and, and uh, I'm trying to think of the young lady, if you look at history, that up in New York, they're talking about the first uh, African-American to boycott a uh, bus. It actually happened up in New York about, uh, about 50 years before Rosa Parks. Right. So it's always good to just celebrate this because it's, it's, it's good for our, our African-American youth. And you think, too, coming to Southeast, being in high school, how important to continue effort to try to bring masonry to the new generation of young people. Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, masonry, actually, and especially in the black community, has been around for an awful long time. And uh, as one of the reasons why I started some of the programs that I did is because we are starting to lose that, and we're not tra transferring that information along to our youth. Uh, masons have been the part of the center part of the community in the African American uh, uh, society. Uh, so I think it's important that our youth know about it and also that they become familiar and join uh, so that the organization will continue. Uh, All the praise because you are just so worthy. And as we need to see, we ask that your peace, your love, your kindness, your love, your mercy,